everyone. Good afternoon and welcome to a Thursday edition of CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Sarah Cody. I got to start off by telling everybody got a little laryngitis going on it here. It to the best of us. I know. It's back to school day in my house today. Oh, And I think boy. it's just end of summer exhaustion. Yeah, maybe some tea and a rest I will do. I just had a big tea well. and we're powering through. All right. Let's see how All this right. goes then. But your kids left this morning they off did. to another school year. It was really exciting. We have a picture there. Oh. Sam is heading into 10th grade on the left. Uh, ben is heading into 8th. They weren't so excited to go back to school, but it's time. Yeah, Don't so they look like a million bucks? They're in different schools this year. Different schools. Oh, Last year, too. Last yeah. year, too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, they look very sharp. Wishing them the best of luck. So, oh. such a proud mom over here. You go, boys. <laughs> also, Vivi, our producer, Joyce's niece, oh, Vivian. Look, look at She has cool earrings on. Oh, no, she's got cool hair, backpack. too. Yeah. Wow, she's heading into seventh grade over in North Haven. Uh, she didn't wanna, want to see her leave. That's Lola, Lola the dog. Yeah. So good luck, Vivi, this year. I like the overall choice. I do First too. day of school outfit's a tough one. It is. I, we, we even talked about it with the guys. <laughs> so yes, it's a big choice. She looks fantastic. She Everybody does. does. And of course, we want to see your pictures. If you're still heading back to school, you can send them to us through our reported app or find us over on social media. All right. So how about we dive into t today's dish? Let's. All presented by Stone Academy, a pint-sized footballer <laughs> gets the attention of ESPN. Yeah, take a look at some of this fancy footwork. Wait till you see this kid here. Uh, he's in Pennsylvania. The Pee Wee League baller takes off and makes not one, but two behind the back ball moves wow. before running it for a touchdown. That's amazing. Now, the moves <laughs> were so pretty. The highlight actually got the attention of ESPN. Look at this little nugget. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's good, too. Wow. All right. Well, uh. up next, we have a touching gesture in solidarity with uh, one of their coaches. We're still on the football track mm -hmm. here. Uh, the football team at Lyon College in Arkansas all shaved their heads. That's right. Their offensive coordinator, Chris Sweet, was recently diagnosed with cancer. So the players lined up one by one to hug the coach and share their support. Now, members posted the special event online with the hashtag SweetStrong. Isn't that nice? So nice. And this is also touching. Marines yeah. typically stick together, and that was the case in Utah. Check this out. We'll so show you some video. One Marine carried another on his back to the top of a mountain. John Nelson and Jonathan Blank served together in Afghanistan, and that's where Blank lost his legs in oh an my. explosion. But the two are still great friends, and they still really like to go hiking together. And they can do it as a team. Isn't Absolutely. that beautiful? Absolutely. Wow, mission accomplished there. That's great. That's incredible. So you could yeah. just got back from Italy. We did. And you saw Pompeii, right? I did. That's, that's pretty a, incredible. That's a good connection there because well. <laughs> there's a volcano that apparently just erupted. In Sicily. Yeah, take a look at this video. It's showing boaters fleeing from the erupting volcano. Wow. Oh my goodness, that's better incredible. go fast. <laughs> yeah, well, they, were, they were telling us that Pompeii will erupt again. Is that right? At wow. some day. Now, this eruption was on Stromboli, a small island off the coast of Sicily, and the massive explosion sent a plume of smoke over a mile into the sky. Yeah, residents reported local firefighters were using seaplanes to put out the flames, <laughs> but thankfully, as frightening as that looks, nobody was hurt. Yeah, that's really. Really incredible video. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, switching gears, Ed Sheeran is reportedly taking a break from performing. Yeah, Sheeran made the announcement on the final night of his tour over in England. He said it would be his last gig for probably 18 months or so. Sheeran has been touring since 2017, playing to an estimated 9 million people. Now, Sheeran raked in hundreds of millions on this tour. He's been a busy guy. This isn't the first time the British singer has taken a break from the spotlight. In 2015, he took time off after a tour to spend more time with his then-girlfriend, who he since has married. Oh, that's so nice. Yes. Now, this next story, I think, is kind of funny. Like, does anyone remember Naked Bongos? Because I do. <laughs> I don't. You don't? I don't know Naked Bongos. Matthew I, McConaughey was naked playing bongos. That's all I have to say. That was in the news a couple years ago. And I he's missed now it. going to the head of the class. That's a switcheroo right there. I remember Dazed and Confused. Do uh -huh, you know that one? Uh -huh. Right? Well, the communication school at the University of Texas <laughs> has made the Oscar winner a professor of practice mm -hmm. to the Department of Radio, Television, and Film. Now, the UT grad has been a visiting instructor there since 2015, teaching a film production class he developed. And 
Our producer put in, all right, all right, all, all right, 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 all right. I think that's a McConaughey thing. I now think the, that was from Days and Confused, There you go, it? yeah. The university <laughs> says he is also taking on the role of Minister of Culture. What's that? That's pretty <laughs> fancy. And in that role, he'll help create an epic fan experience for UT's new basketball arena opening in 2021. All right, he's I don't staying mean, relevant. I don't mean to be glib, because everyone deserves to grow up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's pretty funny. It is, yeah. yeah. And he's kind of handsome, so yeah, that totally. Helps. All right, News 8 is taking the pledge to stay safe on the roads this Labor Day weekend, and we want you to join us. That's right. So show your support for our Wait to Text campaign and update your profile picture. Just go to the WTNH Facebook page to learn how. It's easy. Yeah, there's lots of instructions there. We have a filter. It goes right over. And earlier this morning, <laughs> Trooper Dorellis from the Connecticut State Police stopped by, and he was giving me the facts and figures on how big a problem texting and driving still is. Mm -hmm. He said this month alone, 500 tickets have been issued, and it gets pretty expensive yeah. uh, every time. You get pulled over again. So they're going to be out on extra patrols this week, and we're going to hear more from him tomorrow. It's scary. It's I mean, every stuff. time you drive by somebody, I feel you like you can see the phone. Yeah. It's hard to even control. Yeah, it is. So park your phone, drive your car. That's right. <laughs> All right.